Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I am an old guy gaming, and we're going to continue our adventure here in Edgewater and the surrounding area. Uh, we have pretty much finished all of our side quests, with the exception of the one robot quest, which we should be able to do at the same time that we work on the main quest. Um, so let's take a, just a quick look at where we're at with that. Um, we've got this die robot side quest, which has to be done in the um, geothermal plant, and we also have to go to the geothermal plant to uh, do Stranger in a Strange Land. So hopefully we'll be able to knock both of those off at the same time. Um, so before we get started, we do need to eat, drink, and sleep. So let's hop back onto our ship here and take care of all that stuff. We might as well sleep first because we're going to be even more thirsty uh, when we whoops, get back up again. Okay, so we're fully rested. Now let's go into our inventory uh, to our food items and we bought a bunch of water and water pills in the last episode so we should be in pretty good shape uh, for that so for food I'm just trying to see what I have singles yeah let's eat that one of the things I wish they would do is they I wish they would show you what your food and water level is while you're in this menu because you have to pop back out and look in the upper left hand corner to see where that's actually at. It's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, let's drink the waters first. It doesn't really matter. They both weigh the same. So we'll work on these first and we'll save the pills for later. Um, so probably two of these should get our hydration all the way back up to where it needs to be. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, we're in good shape. Uh, we don't, at this point in time, we don't have access yet to any kind of storage on the ship. I'm assuming that will become available to us once we can fully you know, get the ship fully back online, because that's kind of our main quest right now anyway. So let's head on out and um, start doing this next part of the quest here. So let us see, what do we have for weapons right now? We have, uh, we still have our impact hammer, we've got our tactical shotgun, which is fan-frickin-tastic. Uh, do we, should we actually repair this? It's, that's a 96 condition. Uh, what do we have for mods too? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's look at this before we go. Let's look at this before we go. Because we do have some new mods, and I want to check those out. All right, so we have we have some bank, too, so we could, we could upgrade. I kind of want to get this plasma cutter upgraded and replace it with a hammer. The thing is, though, is a hammer is going to come in handy when we do the robot quest because it's got the, uh, you know, the shock damage, which is what they're vulnerable to. So, what do we want to do here? Let's look at upgrading. I made a mistake with this hunting rifle here. That's a level 7 and that's a level 2. And I put the um, gyrocyte mod, which I should not have done. The gyrocyte is not a, really a sniper scope. It's more of a, an assault rifle scope. Uh, but I didn't realize that until it was already too late. So, I mean, this gun's been doing really well for us, but this one has the scope on it. The thing is, is we're just going to, we would have to upgrade it. So, uh, before we do that, let's see if we can modify it first. So, if we do E for install mod, this would change the damage type of this weapon to plasma, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Hmm, that, is that what I want to do, though? Okay, hold on. Before we do that, before we do that, our assault rifle is already plasma. We don't have any type of elemental weapon on our tactical shotgun. What mods are available for the tactical, if any? All right, right there. So we could, we could make um, this guy... A plasma. I almost think we should do that instead of making the sniper a plasma. Not really sure why, but it's just it feels like it's going to be more useful. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this shotgun, by the way, kicks ass and takes names. I love this shotgun. It's way better than the the first one that you get. Uh, is there anything, any mods that we can install on here? No, nothing available for that. So uh, what about our melee weapon? Okay, so nothing we can install install on that either. I don't want to. I'm. This is just here for either for selling or for scrap. Um, how many? How many parts do we have, by the way? So what is this? Okay, this is 
Wait a minute, though. This is a mod for a weapon. Mr. Ouch, and this is a plasma conversion. I guess we can't put Mr. Ouch on the plasma blade because it's already a plasma blade, I guess. I'm not really sure about that. Let's look at that again. So if we go to back into the workbench and we go to modify and install mod. Yeah, see, it doesn't give me... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Okay. I see. Okay, so this is a mod for the the grip and this is a mod for the blade so if we put mr ouch on here does that remove the plasma though it would seem to indicate maybe it does because now it's no longer yeah see now it's no longer a plasma weapon power attack damage yeah i don't think i want to change that The thing that's weird about this, though, is it doesn't show that it actually has that in the mod slot. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Um, but I want to definitely want to keep this a plasma blade. So let's not mess with that right now. So I think the thing I want to do is I want to get the sniper rifle that has the scope on it upgraded to level 7. So it's doing the same damage as this one. And then we're going to swap those out. Uh, hopefully I have enough bank to do that. So let's tinker this and we'll just take it up as high as we have enough money to. Okay, so it is... Uh, it needs to go one more level. All right, so now it's the same level as our current rifle. Um, do we even want to take it up one more level? Oh yeah, okay, so that gets, gets us up to 102. Uh, and 82 DPS. So we're going to swap these guys out now. And that becomes our new sniper, and it's got the scope on it. Beautiful. Okay. That's going to help a lot. That's going to help a lot. This thing, uh, I really love this sniper rifle. It's actually considered a hunting rifle uh, in this game, though. But it, it packs a punch, man. If you can get a sneak shot off on those guys, it is kicking ass and taking names. So I really, really like it. Okay, so let's see. If we wanted to sell this, we'd only get 10 bank for it. I want to hang on to... Oh, we didn't look at upgrading our light machine gun. Modifying that. Let's take a look at that really quick. So the only option for this is a magazine type of mod, and there's nothing for it. Okay, so we're going to hang on to that. I think what I'm going to do now, guys, is we're going to, we're going to break this one down uh, to save space. And let's break that down. I probably should sell this. This is a pristine Sentry Saber, but the Plasma is already better than it. I was kind of hanging on to this until after the robot quest, but um, I don't know. It's 13. That's not not, not like that's a, a bunch of money. I think we're going to break this down too. Let's just do it because inventory space is starting to become a thing now, especially now that we don't have our companion with us to carry shit because I got her killed. Didn't mean to, but you know, stuff happens, right? Okay, so if we wanted to repair this, it would take seven and we got 49 parts. Let's just do it because we got those extra parts. That way we're starting off with fully repaired gear. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I want to keep the auto mag. I mean, it's got pretty good DPS on it, so, um, you know, not sure about that. We'll have to wait and see. All right, now for armor, we are using this for lock picking, and it's almost in perfect condition. Uh, this is for if we do melee strikes, and this, this is just kind of our normal everyday armor that we have. Do we have any mods that we can put on these guys? Uh, so let's switch to armor here and do install mod. Hey, what would that do? That uh, increases your dialogue and leadership skill. Silver Tongue. No, I don't think we need that. We already have pretty high skills in that area anyway. This gives us a geographic scanner. Um, lets us see things highlighted further from further away, but I don't think that's super necessary right now. Uh, because right now I've got a mod on here that makes this otherwise power armor, which is heavy armor, quieter. Which is kind of important for sneaking around. We have this for being stealthy, stealthy. And uh, what mod could we put on here? Same thing. Geographic scanner or 
silver tongue. Hmm. Is this already modified with anything? It doesn't. All right, you know what we'll do then? Let's go ahead and put the geographic scanner on there. Let's do it. Cool. Okay. All right, guys, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get on out of here and get going on our quests. Oh, before we leave, let's do a quick save. What is the quick save key, by the way? I mean, I guess we could save it here. Um, let's figure out what the key is, though, so that way I'm not trying to figure it out every time I want to do it. Uh, controls. Edit key bindings. It's usually like F5 or F6 or something like that. Quick save is F5. And then quick loads F9. Yeah, that's pretty common in these types of games. Okay, so we'll hit F5. We'll do a quick save. And now we're ready to go. One of the things about playing this game in Supernova is that you cannot save anywhere other than in your ship. It's a real pain in the ass. Uh, there is a little way you can kind of cheese your way around that, and I have been using that. Because the other thing you can only do, uh, you can only fast travel to your ship. You cannot fast travel anywhere else or from your ship to anywhere else. But if you fast travel to your ship, it does an, an auto save, and then you can reload, and it'll reload you from the part, point that you fast traveled to it, and it creates a, an effective save at that point. It's kind of a, excuse me, kind of a pain in the butt, but it does work. Okay, let's head on out. We are going to work on getting this main quest done. Uh, we need to talk to Adelaide first, and uh, this game is very. I've noticed that it's very. Um likely i guess is the word to to repop areas that you've cleared and it does it really quickly too so just because you've cleared an area doesn't mean you can go through it again later and not have to refight your way through it which is good and bad it's mostly good because you get xp and more equipment but can be a little bit of a pain in the ass sometimes too so let's go up here this little path way up through here is where we got ambushed and where i lost a parvati that was a sad day man because those little gorilla things, when they're kind of hunched down, they look just like a rock. And if, unless you're paying attention, it's really easy to not notice them until you're stepping right on top of them, which is exactly what happened to us. Open World Addict. What is going on, my friend? How are you, dude? Thanks for stopping in. How are you doing, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. Okay, so this is the geothermal plant that we have to get into, but I think we want to talk to this Adelaide lady first. Let's keep our assault rifle out. That's kind of our our main weapon. So she's further over this way. Oh, that sucks, man. I hope you can get over that as quickly as possible. No fun having a cold. Check this thing out, you guys. I ran into this the other day. This is a leather boa. It kind of looks like a cross between a rattlesnake and a slug. <laughs> but it's not hostile. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I had tried to attack it, it would probably attack me. But really weird, though, man. We are, of course, on an alien planet. So uh, where is where am I supposed to go? This way. Uh, how the hell do I get there? Here, let's look at the map. Oh, okay, there's a pathway that leads around through here, so we gotta stay on this road here. The common enemy um, around here are marauders. So that's the, you know, those are the, the human enemies, anyways, that you gotta kill. Botanical lab. We'll take that canned meat. Along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Looks like you've uh, killed a bunch of canids here. That's stuff we can sell. All right, let's talk to Grace Romero. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. You're kind of rude, lady. Um, yeah, what is your problem? Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. 
Well, if you haven't noticed, it's kind of dangerous around here. That's why I'm armed, and the other part thing isn't my fault anyways. You obviously run a tight ship. Who's been wandering out of your camp? I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Yeah, I don't care about your problems. I just need to talk to Adelaide. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Not exactly. Already got ourselves one of those. I'm going to turn the game sound up just a little bit. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, open world addict. Reed said something about former stream. workers living out I in the wilderness. Really I'll get to see you, my out of your hair. I'm looking for a geothermal plant. You know anything about it? Well, I kind of already know where the geothermal plant is, but she might be able to tell me information about it. So let's use that one. A geo what? Look, <laughs> plants eat my purview. You're better okay. off asking after <laughs> Yeah, Adelaide. I think we should probably talk to Adelaide. You're going to start wandering around my camp. Know that I got my sights on you. Okay. Fair enough, Grace. Fair enough. Uh, Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. All right. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Yeah, it sounds like that's a lot of work for you, too. Uh, trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of yeah, you. Yeah, that was a little rude. A lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Um, upbeat, a little strange, loves Rizzo's. Yeah, I met Zoe. She's in a marauder camp. Uh, oh, you know what? We did meet Zoe. That's right. I forgot about that. Thank the eternal. Wait, marauder camp? Is she all right? She seemed okay to me. Um, you mean in the head or... <laughs> <laughs> She's become one of them, calls herself the Queen of the Marauders. She's fine. They were getting along. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Queen of the Marauders, huh? That's what comes of watching serials. Rots your gray. <laughs> Rots your gray. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some Marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. Lady, I've crossed off hundreds of Marauders already. Um, all right. I've got questions about Zoe. Actually, I do have I'll questions about Zoe. i what I can. Um, how well do you know her? Let's change the subject. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Okay, you seem personable. You do? What? I can't imagine how you didn't get on with her. I, I'm, <laughs> I must be saying that uh, tongue-in-cheek, facetiously. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. Okay, let's change the subject. What is it? Um, where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crops. Okay. Uh, I'll leave you be. Yeah, we actually did run into Zoe one or two episodes ago. Um, I, f I completely forgot about that. Okay, so we need to find the hothouse, probably also known as the greenhouse. And it looks like it's this place here. Yep, there she is. Let's put our gun away just so, you know. We don't feel too threatening here. Adelaide McDivitt. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay <coughs> down. Excuse me. And I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Oh, that was kind of her. Hi, Maruski. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, sorry to hear that open world. Like I said, I hope you, hope you get better, man. Okay, uh, you must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco-horn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, Ooh. but it's been clean. I hope so. Good lord. Um, okay, let's see. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Is this your greenhouse? Looks like you've made a home for yourself out here. Let's, um, yeah, let's just get straight to the point here. Reed Thompson? She's just not afraid of the you dark. The She's not even afraid of the deep dark. Reptile. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear let's friend Maruski has joined what's us. What's Reed's Welcome, idea Maru. of peace then? Okay, what's Reed's idea of peace then? Uh, you're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asked you to consider coming back to the town. He's willing to make amends, which is what he said. Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> oh no, let's let's tell her how it is, okay? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Hmm. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. 
I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Um, this is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. Hmm. If you're going That's down right, the it plant, does. You should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Hmm. All right, let's see. I'll consider it. What have you got against the town? I'm not looking to get mixed up in your problems. I just want to fix my ship. A hero to you, maybe. Well, um, let's, yeah, let's just, let's dig a little deeper here. What do you have against the town exactly? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. Okay, bring some back for me, Mariski. <laughs> bring some back for me. Uh, all right, let's see. What do you have against people trying to make a living? Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? You made your point clear enough. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Hmm. Well, um... I will consider I trust it. trust you will listen to your conscience. Now, the problem with listening to my conscience is... Uh, oh, I, I guess I'd be stealing that. Of course, if she's not going to be looking, is anyone else looking? You guys didn't see anything. Um. Yeah, the problem with following my conscience is these things are never cut and dried. I mean, you know, who's really right or wrong here? You know what I'm saying? She is kind of looking over this way, so. Let's wait for her to turn around and then we're going to jack these weapon parts. <laughs> okay. All right. My character is, um, he's kind of a scoundrel thief type of character. He's not like wholly evil though either, but he does like to, to lift things when people aren't looking. <laughs> oh, what do we got back here? Oh, okay, let's check out the terminal. Uh, let's see. Emerald Vale Botanical Lab and, and, and Experimental Facility. Personal Files. Hack 15 Bypass. Okay. Um, open first entry. May the eternal bliss my first endeavor. Oh, bless my first endeavor. It's been two days since I walked away from life at the Edgewater Cannery. Fortuitously, the old botanical labs are still operational, mostly. The soil is sour. I'll do what I can, but I'm going to need some powerful fertilizer. Tired of having the taste of salt tuna lingering on my tongue day in and day out. I want something fresh, something that grows out of the earth. Open last entry. Uh, we found another worker from Edgewater, ex-worker. Now, desertion rates must be climbing. I'm not terribly surprised. Reed's style of management has always been tyrannical. I imagine an exodus is brewing. At any rate, the worker was in a sorry state. Fever, shallow breathing, delirious. Must have been plagued. I sent him right. I set him right with a diet of greens. He was all better in a couple weeks, physically, spiritually. He's one of our flock now. Okay, so here's something, here's something you know about this that's significant, and that is that um, uh, Spacer's Choice is the company you know that controls the. The, the, the whole town, really, and, and they will only provide medicine to people who, you know, um, are relatively healthy. If someone's sick, they won't 
heal them because they're no longer a good asset for them. So it sounds like um, Adelaide here is actually helping anybody that needs help and they're actually getting better with you know her herbs and stuff like that. So that's something definitely to consider when we decide what we're going to do here. All right, experimental notes. Open first entry. Um, I am hereby repurposing this botanical lab from its original conception as a gear in the soulless automation of the corporate machine. This greenhouse may look impressive, but like all Spacer's Choice products, it is cheap and unreliable. I shall have to make some repairs with my own two hands. This place shall become a nursery. Before it was abandoned, I understood the horticulturists failed to produce a single viable crop, something about the soil being too poor. I am determined to find a way. May the eternal smile upon my endeavors. Open last entry. Um, flora are living things, as sensitive to their environment as any breathing, thinking body. I contend that the crops in this region failed because the corporate scientists tending to them are cold, heartless, inhumane people acting on behalf of a sterile and inhumane power. One cannot expect your crops to flush with... To flush? I think that meant that should be flourish. With green and reach for the sky under these conditions. The soil is sour, it's true. I don't know quite how to explain that. I'm sure the scientists will say something about biology or the carbon cycle. But I can conclude, after months of my own experimentation, that the secret to a rich and wholesome garden is love, attention, compassion, and a natural fertilizer bursting with organic materials, just as nature intended. Okay, so she uh, has or is working on some kind of cool fertilizer um, to, to make these plants. Well, she must already have it because she's... She's making the plants and stuff. Anybody looking? <laughs> Didn't see anything. Nothing happened there. Uh, all right. Yeah, looks like she's doing a pretty good job of growing plants here. So she's come come across something. Uh, you know, when it comes to fertilizer. There's nothing in there. There's an adreno in there. We don't want to get caught stealing because bad things happen when you get caught. But as long as you don't get caught, it's not wrong. Ooh, wow, look at that. Got some mods out of that deal. Make sure no one's watching. Those are terminals, but they're not actually active. Okay, so. I guess we have a decision to make. Um, and that is, are we going to divert power from examine? Oh, hello. Hello, deserter. How are you? My name's Old Guy. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Stefan's got supplies. Oh, he must be like a... He must be like a, um, a merchant or something. Okay, examine. Zoe's journal, page 22. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warning, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemy on spikes as a warning to folk like me, living a life of comfort and, comfort and ease free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. <clears throat> I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should last me a couple weeks if I ration. Got some adrenatime too. Everybody loves adrenatime, even marauders, right? I got odds that those marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes of adrenatime before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my back and beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzos. So that was page 22. What's this? This is page 12. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'am, I would you like another's. I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Um, because I always hated the cannery and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years since and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much adrenaline. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to the personal responsibility and... Uh, responsibility in surviving by one's own bootstraps. Oh, but you misappropriated one box of adrenaline and suddenly you're committing larceny. Hmm, okay, so she got sick, she stole some medicine to try and get herself better. Can't necessarily blame her for that. What's this say? 
Uh, page 18. Good news. I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better, too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical labs. They found a way to grow some food or something that passes for food anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms. I suppose. Tastes atrocious, but I have been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an aether wave. I think that's like a TV show or something like that. So I've been catching up on my serial dramas. Uh, masked marketer, what would I do with out you go crazy most likely crack up murder all my neighbors and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder i don't know that doesn't sound too bad i can see myself leading a cadre of, of marauders a band of bandits wait that doesn't sound right band of bandits what would we call ourselves the formidable 14 the 100 hooligans featuring zoe the bandit queen okay so that's where she got the idea to go uh throw in with these bandits here interesting okay well uh we know where steel poster Uh, we know where she is, because we, like I said, we ran into her in the last episode. So we're, so, what's her name? Grace at the front gates wants us to try and talk her into coming back. So, Spacer's Choice. Oh. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Canid snout, that sounds Something delicious. Something I can help you with? Um, I'm told your number one's gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. I like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Tell me a little bit about Zoe. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Hold on, there was something else. Um, yeah, just tell me a little bit about her first. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal, masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market <laughs> economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. So I that's what put the idea in her head. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these corporate questions. Corporate fixer. Um, what was that about surprising Zoe? Yeah, that this might help us bring her back. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next hmm, day. Hmm, okay, we can use that information. Um, any chance you can lend me that copy of the Masked Marketeer? All right, um... Well, what happened, first of all, on the day she disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. Hmm. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of Sure, paper. she likes to journal. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Dude, it's not odd. Um, hold on. There was something else. Well, here, let's just ask him about if we can borrow this. Not much of a chance, no. Mind if I ask why you're interested? Um, Zoe's living with marauders nearby. I need something to tempt her back to camp. Zoe's living with marauders? Mm hmm Yeah, that sounds like the sort of sideways, brat-brained plan Zoe'd come <laughs> up with. Yeah, it could be you're telling the truth. Or maybe you're trying to wheedle me into relinquishing my only copy of The Masked Marketeer. It's a collector's edition, after all. Hmm. Um. Okay, she asked me to do this, said she was angry with you, uh, or we could persuade. Look at my face. Do I look like I give a damn about your show? That's pretty much what my character would say. Yeah, you're probably right. A true fan would have displayed a gleam in their eye upon hearing the words collector's edition. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Go. I just Latest want more bullets. Mask marketeer. Tell Zoe we're all waiting on her. Okay, very good. Um, what are you selling, by Fresh the way? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Canid meat, huh? Okay. So, um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, oh my goodness, look at the price on that thing. Holy smokes. That's like an epic type weapon. Um, the thing is, though, is, I mean, I don't think we can eat this without cooking, and I haven't figured out if there's a way to cook stuff in this. Um, uh, in the game here. So, you know, I, we're doing okay on food, but we could maybe sell some stuff to him. We've got an extra revolver, which we don't really need, so let's sell that to him. Uh, but I want to keep the rest of this stuff, and I want to keep all of that, too. Let's sell all the alcohol. I'm not, I'm not really using the alcohol because, um... It's got the, the the debuffs aren't worth it, I don't think. Uh, Nico pad, 
that's all like elixir stuff and that's all food that we kind of want to hang on to all right i want to sell you that oh yeah let's sell him this stuff so hold z to sell all junk there we go oh something i can help there is with? one thing i wanted to check actually uh what are you selling fresh off the limb yeah yeah yeah, yeah. do you have anything to drink no you just have food okay something i can help um i've got more questions I'll about help if i can hold on there was something else hey i got time uh oh okay all right so that was good to know and we got uh we got that copy of the mask marketeer that we can use to try and lure her back what's in here I'm not sure what that is. That's nothing we can hork. There we go. Bypass shunt, that's good. Alright. Anything else? Um, you're just a, a deserter. What's in this area here? More food. We like food. That's. I thought that was something there. Uh, we don't have what it takes to break into that thing. Okay, cool. Are you just another deserter? If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Okay, let's go up here real quick, take a look, see. This is one of those games where you gotta look around to get find all the good stuff. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough maglocks to break into there. Probably a good thing anyways, because that person would have seen us and then we would have gotten gotten in trouble. Okay, where did that person go? We're robbing them blind. What's that? Oh, a bunch of nanners. Oh, okay. How many mag locks did we need to open that other room? Uh, we need one more. Okay, well, maybe we'll find another one and we can come back later. There's a couple more places up there we gotta check. And then we'll set out and get started here on our thing, thingamadoodle. Gotta loot everything, man. Oh, we got a fun time barrel. Is that something we can put on our shotgun, I wonder? Let's look at that really quick. So this does 25 critical damage. I thought we already put that on our shotgun, though. Oh, you know what? Did we do that and then I replaced it with the plasma? No, it's, it still has a fun times on it. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, this shotgun is badass. I love it. Okay, we found a workbench. Whoop. Where is it, though? Okay, we can't... Oh, okay, here's the, here's the power converter thing right there. Okay, that worker just left. Can't get into that. Nobody looking? I'm getting lots of ammo, that's good, because we're going to need it. I think we've already been over here, right? Yeah, I think so. 
Okay, let's just check this upper area, and then uh, we need to wrap up this episode. Anyway, <clears throat> and then in the next episode, we'll set out and... Uh, Probably what we'll do is we'll we'll see if we can go get Zoe first and get that taken care of, and then we'll go to the geothermal plant. We keep getting these side quests, but I mean they're worth doing because we're getting XP and all that kind of stuff and rep. Uh, zero G brew, another bypass shunt. That's good. What's that? Fit cartridge. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, one more building. Can we get a, in over here? No, but we do have this. Anybody looking? <clears throat> I don't know if they can see you from that far away, but let's not take a chance. Oh, look at this food sitting on the ground. Nice. Did we look around up here? My game seems a little bit stuttery tonight for some reason. Kind of messing with my... my vision. Okay, I think we've pretty much cleaned this place out. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment and share out the video. Those things do help the channel. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.